The brand new ED has been built on site at the Monash Medical Centre, featuring 35 emergency beds, nine resuscitation bays and negative pressure airflow capacity to reduce the spread of viruses like COVID-19. Monash Children's Hospital has opened a magic Disney sanctuary to put a smile on sick kids' faces during their stay. 16 metres tall uh, across all floors of the Monash Children's Hospital, a place where our children who are in the hospital can come, play, enjoy. The hospital cares for more than 100,000 children each year. Hopefully the beginning of the end. From Pfizer's headquarters in Belgium all the way to the Monash Medical Centre in Clayton, a year after the pandemic began, we can finally see the exit sign. That's an historic moment right there, you know, that vaccination, the Pfizer vaccine being administered. We're now on the offensive, you know, we're no longer acting defensively against this, we're actually on the offensive and that's, it's an amazing day. We'll start with about 800 people and we'll grow that to about 2,500 people uh, as demand requires. A new testing site at the Palais Theatre drew numbers. As the threat grows, so too the resources being deployed in the area. This vaccine hub at Peanut Farm Reserve was set up in hours and as word spread, a long queue formed before the site was even operational. Contact tracers left with the hard task of getting on top of the outbreak as we head towards Thursday night's deadline. Our teams are amazing. Um, they've stood up, they've shown that they can do the job. You're doing really well. Teams are practicing intubations on mannequins to prepare them for the real patients they're doing this to every day. And out of the way. Great.